Today we will be learning how to control the scratch cat using the arrow keys. First, start always by grabbing the red when flower clicked block from the events tab. Then you'll go to control, grab the forever loop because we want the control to run forever. Then we grab an if loop, go to sensing, which is the light blue one, go down to where you find where it says key space pressed. Of course you don't want space, you want up arrow. So once you've got up arrow, you go to motion, and you don't use the steps because that doesn't work. You go down here to where it says change Y by 10, and you drag that in. And what that does is on here we see we have the Y axis, which is the blue line, and the X axis is the orange line. And so the X axis gets bigger this way, the Y axis gets bigger this way, and then the Y gets small this way, and X small this way. So we want to change Y by 10. If we change Y by 10, that means that it goes up. And that's what we want, because we've got the up arrow. So that one's fine. So now, if we click go, if you press the up arrow, it'll move up. But we don't want just up, we want all the keys. So since we've got four directions, we need another we need another three if loops, so we have four. And then we want to go back into sensing. And then put all four of the, the, the three of the same block into this little space here. And now, since we already have up, we want down, right, and left. So if we go back into motion, to get down, it's still on the Y axis, but if we change Y by 10, it'll move up instead of down. So instead of 10, we want minus 10. And then, now for right, it's on the X axis, so we get the change X by block, put that in, and since the x-axis gets bigger this way, which is right, that one's fine. But once we need left, we've got to change x block again. Since x, the x-axis gets smaller to the left, we need to make x minus 10. And now, if we press go, it lights up to show that it's running, and I can now move the scratch cat around the screen by just using the arrow keys. And you can also use this to make the scratch cat do other things like say, if I get another if block, say, and then I get the space block, I could make him, let's say, play a drum beat when the space key is pressed. So now, I could do this. And he'll play a drum beat while, so I can move him and play the drum beat. So yeah, that's how to control the scratch cat using the arrow keys.